iOS 18 is supposed to be the biggest update ever. And that is because iOS 18 is supposed to have a lot of AI focused features because it's 2024 and AI is the thing everyone is talking about. We should not expect to have like an Apple chat GPT app for iOS 18. I think what Apple is going to do is it's going to integrate with a bunch of different services in order to make Siri better and in order to make things like autocomplete actually be a lot smarter and more useful, especially when you are communicating with different individuals, such as maybe like your manager, your best friend, your side chick. iOS is supposed to be smart enough to know, okay, if I am communicating with my manager, then I will be more formal, but if I'm communicating with my side chick, then I will be a lot more casual. Apple Maps is supposed to get some updates as well. So you, it's supposed to get like a custom route feature. This next feature is going to set off a lot of Android fans. You know they're going to say that Android has this for several years and that feature is the ability to put your icons anywhere on the home screen. So I know there are a ton of YouTube channels that have been asking for this for a very long time. So it, it seems that Apple is going to catch up with Android to have this feature. And it kind of makes sense when you think about the last couple of home screen improvements with iOS. The biggest feature that I am excited for is RCS. And that is because my brother is an Android user, so whenever we are sharing photos or videos, they tend to come out in a horrible quality. But with RCS, it's supposed to upgrade that quality and it's also supposed to give us typing indicators and some of the features iOS users who use iMessage are accustomed to. So it's going to make communicating with your Android friends a lot better better, but obviously it's not going to be as good as communicating with someone who has an Apple device. We won't have to wait long until WWDC, which will be starting on June 10th this year. And we're going to see not only iOS 18 updates, but iPad OS 18 updates, which quite frankly are going to be the same features that iOS 18 is going to have. We're also going to see Vision OS 2 updates, Watch OS 11, although I don't know what they're really going to add to Watch OS. There's TV OS 18, but no one really cares about that. And Mac OS, I guess it's going to be 15 at this point. The thing to keep in mind is that this year's event is going to be AI focused. So if you are tired of hearing about AI, then you might want to skip this event because you're going to hear about AI a lot. And if you are an options trader and you are excited about Apple getting into AI, maybe you can buy a couple of calls and hopefully you'll make some money. This is not financial advice, just saying. iOS 18, let's look forward to it. And once it comes out, I'll have a whole bunch of videos going over the features, what I like, what I dislike. And there's also going to be a final review letting you know whether you should update to iOS 18 on day one. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for iOS 18 or are you sick and tired of hearing about AI? Thank you all for watching this video. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.